Jay Leno. Welcome to you, about your life. Thanks for tuning in. Kev, who do we have? Please welcome Sophie, a vocal coach, and David, a Tibetan throat singer. Yes. Welcome, welcome, Sophie. What a very pretty name that is. And what does it mean? It means wisdom and truth. Wisdom and truth. Nice. Okay, two two I things tell the sadly truth all lacking the time. on this show. So you have brought <laughs> wisdom and truth to the show. And you're from Haiti and you're Australian. I'm Australian, yes. Truly an international show. Okay. <laughs> right. I, I'm not familiar with Tibetan throat singing. How's that different from regular singing? Doesn't it all come from the throat or? Yeah, it does, but it gets uh, kind of gravelly. Yeah. And if you do it right, you can get some overtones. So you're singing one note, but you can hear other notes over the top. It's kind of... Can you give us a little demonstration? Is yeah. that possible? Yeah, there are two styles. The okay. first one is... Oh, that's, that's actually, that's very good. Thank you. You know, now you say it, I, I've heard it. I, I've heard it used for effect in movies and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And the second style, if I can do it, it's 50-50. All right. No pressure. <laughs> Wow, yeah, 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 that's great. That reminds me of a uh, uh, didgeridoo a little bit. Yeah, I used to badly, badly play a didgeridoo. And the great, huh? great players, you don't have to learn any words. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yes. And will you please tell Americans there are no Outback Steak houses in Australia? Thank you. No, and we don't drink Fosters either. You don't drink Fosters. <laughs> and there's no such thing as a bloomin' onion. That's totally made up American. There's nothing to do with it. I've actually never heard of a bloomin' onion. But that's what they sell at the other. Really? I think yeah. bloomin's more of a, an English word. Yeah, exactly. English. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got you. I think you two will make a fascinating team with your wisdom and truth, you see, and your throat you. singing. They could get that's up what we're right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, the first decision you have to make as a team is what category do you want to play? Bikini bottom or I'll wait? Whoa. Bikini bottom sounds like SpongeBob, and I love SpongeBob. All right, I've never watched the show. Okay, so you, I'll you wait. Running that on your own. Right, <laughs> but I'll wait. That'd be that'd be my choice. Oh. Unless you think you can carry the whole. But what if it's not SpongeBob? I know. Yep. Okay, let's go with I'll wait. Yeah. You've chosen I'll wait That's as your right. category. These are questions about things that took a long time. Okay. okay. Let's hope this category has a special bonus question, too, because that's $1,000. Kev has shared the secret word. Either you say that, that's $500, and you can't lose either of those. That's yours to keep. I'm going to ask you five questions of increasing dollar value. The last question is double or nothing, and that's worth as much as $5,000. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Question one for $250. This is multiple choice. What attention star performer once attempted to encase himself in ice in Times Square for 72 hours? Here are your choices. David Blaine. Chris Angel, David Copperfield, Al Gore. <laughs> well, we know it's definitely not Al Gore. Yeah, well, I think we could rule Al out. Well, okay, we'll rule out. It was Al not Al Gore. It was not. All right, and we'll rule out Houdini because he's not up there. Yeah, but I, I'm going for David Blaine. David um, Blaine froze himself in a, I believe, in a. All right, I, I want to go with your intuition. I'm going to trust your intuition on this. Well, I hope I just won the something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David Blaine, it is. Truth and wisdom. Is it David Blaine? Yes! There you go, David Blaine. All right. You guys now have $250. All right. For $500 in 2022, what Los Angeles sports franchise celebrated its 52nd straight year without winning a championship? Well, if you can name one Los Angeles sports franchise, you're ahead of me. Oh, you got me. The LA. All I know is Lakers. I don't even know if that's LA. <laughs> I was, I'm not from this country. You know, <laughs> wait, after a good start. Uh, let's do uh, um, let's do Lakers. I guess. Hopefully, okay. Lakers fans don't crucify us. I'm go with your truth and wisdom again. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Lakers. Lakers. Truth and wisdom. This could be lies and stupidity. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble. Uh, the Lakers never won anything, ever. <laughs> okay, is it the Lakers? It's the Clippers, the Clippers. Clippers. Oh. Okay. 
don't show your face in L.A. after dark. Oh, my gosh. Can't say that <laughs> don't walk her. into a bar. Don't go any. Go home, lock the door, and look through the little... Uh, they have to forgive me. Okay. <laughs> the Lakers have never won anything, Clay. Okay. Well, that's why it was a good choice. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, here's one for $750. After six nominations, what actor finally won an Oscar in 2016 for his performance in The Revenant? I actually think I may know this one. Okay. But you go first. I've never seen The Revenant. So well, talk it out. I think I think I have. I think it was the one. I think it's the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he has like eight lines of dialogue, uh, but was awesome. So if it's not, I have no idea. Okay. Well, we'll 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 go with Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. There you go. All right. All right. You now have one thousand dollars. Next question. For $1,000, La Sagrada Familia is a temple that's been under construction for over 140 years in what city that once hosted the Olympics? It's been under construction for 140 years. Yeah, that doesn't help me. I don't That's a reunion job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't track a lot of con cathedral construction projects. Yeah. Um, but um, do you know of a, a Spanish-speaking city that, that definitely hosted the Olympics? I do not. Okay, all right. So I'm you can gonna, work with that. I'm going to go with Spain. I'm oh, gonna, or, you're feeling Spain? Uh, well, you need a city. Well, it needs you a need city. City. So Madrid? I don't know where the, where the Olympics have been hosted. I'm thinking maybe Rome in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Mad Madrid or Rome? Which one are you feeling? Okay, let's Rome. Rome, Jay. Because I watched the Spartans. Is it Rome? <laughs> No, Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona. You're in Spain. You had the, you had Spain. the uh, All right, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, truth and wisdom. Taking a little bit of a hit here, but you're doing okay. <laughs> Still got $1,000. $1,000. Bob and we, we come back. We get a chance to double our winnings. We go double or nothing on your back your life. Okay. Welcome back to Bet Your Life. David and Sophie together have earned one thousand dollars. All right, time to the bet your bet. Before we do that, I kept mentioned something in your intro about getting bugged out in an outhouse. What does that mean? Oh my gosh! So I went to Haiti with my dad. I was okay. fourteen. We were at a family member's house. They didn't have an indoor bathroom. They right. had an outhouse. Right. It was my first time using an outhouse. <laughs> I, it was 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. at night. Right. Couldn't see a thing. So we right. have like this flashlight. We're walking in there. I see a hole in the ground with a toilet seat cover. Right. And I'm like, that's what I got to sit on? My dad's <laughs> like, girl, you better go to the bathroom right now. So I was just like, all right. So I go and open up the lid and sat down. And next thing you know, this big white flying cockroach come flying out. I went screaming out. <laughs> My dad was like, what is wrong with you again? Oh, just, just do this with your hand. Just do this. So I was just like, no, I don't want to go. I was traumatized. I told him to put a bucket in the room, and I wow. was in the bucket. Whoa. I didn't even know your dad, and that was a great impression. Yeah. <laughs> that was very impressive. That was a very good impression of your dad. Well, it's double or nothing time. What, what are you guys thinking you want to do here? You want to double your money and go for it? The 2000 Either you want to stop here and take what you have? What are you thinking? I don't know if I'm feeling confident. I think we've gotten two out of four. Yes. So yeah. The chances are 50 50. So, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe we, I think, I'm, I'm tempted to go for it. Yeah. And maybe we get it, maybe we don't, you know? Okay. Remember I truth and wisdom? Remember that? Right. Remember truth. what you told us at the beginning? It is. And we all believed it. And we my all... truth is, is that I'm supposed to walk out of here. Your truth is, you don't have the wisdom <laughs> to continue the game. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going, oh, you don't so. know. Do you have any, any pets? I do. I yeah. have a puppy. Oh! Whoa! Okay, there's five hundred dollars. No matter what happens, you can get yourself a burger across the street. Yes, right? we there can. You go. All right. So what do you want? A really do? expensive burger, Jeff. Yeah, you got an expensive burger. You gonna go for it? What do you think? You know what? I'm gonna Wait. be a team player. You gonna be? A that's all right. If I'm you want. That's the girl I know. The yeah. Yeah. All, right. All, right. All, right. All right. Truth and wisdom wins out. The category is still, I'll wait. Questions about things that took a long time. For $2,000, here's your double or nothing question. What 2009 fantasy film took 10 years to make but became the highest grossing film of all time? Avatar? Oh. Maybe, um... Oh. I like that. 
And that was <laughs> such an epic film. Even if we get it wrong, props to Avatar, right? Exactly. Props, <laughs> props to Avatar. Exactly. I mean, you know, love to um, we'll go with the Avatar. director. They're going to go with Avatar. I think they might be correct. Is it Avatar? Yes, it's Avatar. There you go, right there. OK, there's your $2,000. Nice work, you see? you got to believe in yourself. There you go. Truth and wisdom. There you go. Thanks for playing your bet tonight. Give them a big hand. All right, thanks, you guys. Nice job.